Mutsunga Haya. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she made me want to dance. Hey, Mambo, Habari, Aleo. How was your day? It's Matt Diamond. I'm in Kalifi. I don't know anything about Kalifi, right? So I just started finding out, and I found this Kalifi lady. So we're going to talk with her and learn and learn about what it, what is Kalifi Kenya, what's going on here, is it good, is it bad, is it ugly, is it beautiful. So hey, how are you? I'm fine. How, how fine are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? I'm Mito. Mito? Yeah. Mito what? Mito Yawa. Mito Yawa. <laughs> <laughs> We're just leaving the beach. We just did like a really beautiful photo shoot. Any of you that follow me on social media just saw her photos a few weeks ago. She was in Mtwapa, so I found her and we went and did a really amazing photo shoot at, uh, what was that place called? Timboni. Yeah, Timboni. Timboni. So we were at Timboni. We made these beautiful photos. And then, you know, so she models sometimes. She's a beautiful lady. And, uh, but I think I'm stepping up her game. I think I'm teaching her a few things. So today we did a shoot, yeah? Yeah. yeah. It was at the beach. Good. It was good. Yeah. And I feel like today, uh, her shoot today was even better than the shoot the first time. So, like, each time you do a photo shoot, you get like more something relaxed. Something new, yeah. Something new, more experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what's up with Kalifi? Is Kalifi good? Kalifi is good. It's yeah. a beautiful, cool place. Mm where everybody mind his or her business I mean, hey. to some extent to some extent yeah <laughs> because this is kenya but yeah this is kenya yes and, you know as kenyans we are we will always be kenyans yes okay but kilifi it's a beautiful it's yeah. a little busy place mm -hmm. and it's still growing growing people growing like, growing how like uh what Developing, I mean developing. Mm, sure, sure. Yeah. So um, like, is it investors making it grow? Is it the lot. Kenyan government? No. In Kilifi, like, uh, it's not about uh, the government, mm. but uh, as you can see, everybody is trying to to at least afford her own place where I am. Um, I mean, like, um, there's a car coming. Oh, we have a car coming. Yeah. So, whereby everything is trying to invest invest uh, maybe some business or finding a new place like mm. um, here you hear uh, Basi whereby a lot of uh, Kilifi people are mm. trying to invest now from Basi yeah. and some other places so you see it's growing like it's not like um, back then people were used like oh in, in Kilifi we have only Bofa whereby the rich people are settled there but now it's not about Bofa again it's Bofa like, uh, this place is That's called a hood. Bofa. Oh, so along it, the beach is called uh, Bofa. Yeah, the beach plot. Okay, okay. But now it's like Leafy is uh, developing everywhere, as yeah. you can see. Yeah. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah like th this neighborhood we're in right now, I came for the first time last night to a, a nice, nice club. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's full of like very wealthy estates. Yeah. right uh yeah. big plots big compounds yeah you know because in kenya we call it compound right yeah yes so it seems like Kalifi's on the come up yeah now for me uh seasoned i'm a kind of a, a seasoned kenyan traveler a bit i haven't seen all of kenya but i've seen a good bit and uh i went to malindi and yeah. watamu yeah. in 2019 and i passed by Kalifi. i saw a big elephant right by the highway in Kalifi. I think there's elephants around yeah yeah is. and it blew my mind yeah. but at that time I had in my mind that Kalifi was like this small small village town but in 24 hours that I've been here I've seen that it's actually a thriving little town yeah but yeah. it's calm it's not hectic like like Mombasa or Nairobi or even Mtwapa it's much more calm is that right yeah it's true yeah so is there a village in Kalifi still there is Okay. Not here in town, but mm. uh, uh, there is some like in Basi, mm. like in Tezo, uh, yeah, in Chumani. 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 You know Chumani? I don't know it. Oh, uh, it's just uh, after Tezo. Okay. Uh, okay. On your way to Watam. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. So, so there is some village. So where are you from? Are you from this place, right? Oh no, I'm from Choni Ditoni. Choni. Ditoni. Choni Ditoni. No. Say. Ditoni. 
Say, say zitoni. Zitoni. Yeah. Choni zitoni. Zitoni means uh, the eye. Oh, the eye. The eye. This one. <laughs> That one? The eye, you see? Uh, that cho- one. Tony Tony. Tony. <laughs> so what? So which place Michonne. is that? Is that is that a place for a certain tribe, mm, it, or is it some town? What is it? Yeah, Tony is for the Tonys, Tonyans. Tonyans. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm guessing this must be your tribe you're talking it about. It is my tribe. You're a Tony. Yeah, I'm Tony. Wow. Beautiful Tony. Beautiful Tony. Yeah. So it's a Costarian tribe, huh? Yeah. Let me see her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a Costarian tribe. Yeah, it is, and we have some other more like the Kaumas. Mm. We have Guriama, Cambage, Bana, Tai. Ah, not Taita. No, not that one. That's a different one. It's a different one. Yeah. But, uh, some, some people are confused because they are like the coastal, the the southern of part of Kenya. So some are confused that uh, Taitas are. The coastal people, but it's not. The, the tide to stay in South Coast. Yeah. So we're in North Coast right now. Yeah. If you go south of where we are, you end up in Mombasa Town, which yeah. is an island, and then you take a ferry across the the Maji across the water. You know Maji now because we talk <laughs> about what what is Maji? It's water. Water. Yeah. So you take a, a ferry in Mombasa Island across the Maji, and that puts you in South Coast. Is that right? Yeah. So we're in the North Coast of Kenya. And it's really beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like I was trying to just show a bit, we're just on this footpath and you see the purple just everywhere. And as you go around this town, look, is that pink or purple? It's pink. Oh, there's peach. There's yeah, peach there's and peach. soft purple, yeah. like lavender. It's, the, the coast is like this though. It's so it's beautiful. beautiful. Nairobi has blooms too, but just but a little bit of our path view. Like... I don't know. Yeah, you see that? It's very charming. And then down here on the ground, you just find all these blooms, these blooms, these blooms. Yeah. So for me, I just really love coast. Like, it's just such a beautiful place. It like everywhere beautiful. you go, yeah. you got you got beaches, Indian Ocean, a lot of history, right? A lot of diversity. Lots. So would you recommend coast? to other Africans or to uh, foreign people from outside of Africa, would you recommend that they come here and see it? Yes or no? A lot, a lot. Oh, she said a lot. Yeah, so you can visit hmm. uh, Kenya uh, at a large, but Kilifi is beautiful. Yeah. Kilifi is beautiful. Yeah. And it's a cool place. Hmm. You can visit so many places and we have so much beautiful beach around here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you enjoy our traditional food, like uh, what is enjoy it? the fish first. Fish. We start with the fish, yeah. then we have the seafoods, different seafoods. Uh, What's the best fish in 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 Kalifi? Um, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> for me, I like kamba. Uh, Those are the prawns. Kamba. Yeah. Kamba. We call them kamba. Whoa, I'm learning that so is, much. Kamba is a tribe. Uh, kamba, oh yeah. But, but it's also a it's shrimp. Really, yeah. And shrimp is also a prawn. Yeah. So when, you, when you're on coast, if you want shrimp, you're going to hear prawns. Ah, uh, yeah. Ama. Yeah. Ama means or. Or, right? Or oh, kamba. Ama, kamba. Ama, kamba. Uh, prawns, ama, kamba. kamba. It's the same, same, same yeah. thing as shrimp. And same I, as samaki, which is fish. Oh, samaki is fish. Now, now, where I'm from in the U.S., a lot of people love shrimp. Yeah. So uh, that's something people are going to look for when they come here. Is it expensive? Is it hard to find? The shrimp, the kamba, no, the prawns. No, it's not expensive, mm. uh, but it depends with the place you have uh, eat it. Like sure, you have sure. get it. Like in some five-star hotels, yeah, it is expensive, you know. Mm. Yeah. But he, w- w- when you get it locally, it's mm. uh, it's more cheap. More cheap. More cheap. Well, that's good. Uh, yeah. What what uh, what other traditional foods would somebody be trying when when they're in Kalifi? Traditional food. Yeah. What do you mean when you say traditional food? What does that mean to you? It means the food that we eat and it's uh, it has been cooked uh, African way, like yeah. in our own style, maybe Mijikenda way. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she made me want to dance. Mutsunga. Yeah. Mutsunga is actually. Yeah. Okay, some people call me Mutsunga, but anyway. It's Mutsunga. Like... <laughs> Mutsunga. Mutsunga is a tradition 
food that yeah. we eat with ugali it's a great it's greens actually but okay it's okay very bitter it's the same as umboga it's mboga yeah it's it mboga. is umboga yeah, mboga yes but it's a certain mboga yeah. so we eat yeah. mtsunga you eat kumbu eh? you eat skuma you eat manga uh, and are, you are, know manga <laughs> I don't know manga. Manga is Jewish. cassava. Cassava? Yeah. Oh, the, the Congolese take cassava, isn't that? Yeah, thing? even the Nigerians. Nigerians, yeah. Congolese, and apparently yeah. Costarians take yeah. the cassava. So that's nice. So as far as food, is it? it's all healthy, huh? Yeah, it's healthy and it's very nice. Does it come from the supermarket? No. Oh. You can get it, like uh, the cassava, mm -hmm. you can get it here from the Shambas. And Shamba, what's a Shamba? Farm. The farm. Where some people, yeah, yeah, plant it. Wow. Yeah, like you can come to a shamba and you'll find a lot of bananas. Bananas? Yeah, and a dizzy. lot. Dizzy, a lot of dizzies. Wow. And cassava. Wow. That is in the Tony. So we've talked so much about coast. Where uh, where else in this sweet, sweet Kenya have you been? Have you been anywhere I've else been other than this place? I've been to where I studied there in Eldoret and I you stayed went... at Kabsoya. Hello, my Kabsoya people. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, that is from Eldoret. I studied huh. at uh, when I was in primary at Eldobaraka Academy. Then I went to Seko Girls. Uh, yeah. So how many years were you in this Eldoret? Oh, from that year I was in standard five hmm. to form form three. Then hey. I went to I transferred. I went to Saint John's College and I finished there my high school. Wow! Yeah. So you know Kenya a bit. I know, cause I also traveled to Narok. It's beautiful. Narok, home of the Maasai yeah. nowadays. Maasai. Yeah, I went to Taita. Taita. At, uh, Taita, you can do the. Hiking. Oh yes. <laughs> you can visit so many. Uh, Is that Amboseli? Taita, Taita. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know much about it, but uh, mm. I, I think it's good. You can visit uh, when you like visiting. Uh, when you love nature, you'll just love it in Taita. So they have all the animals it's beautiful. there, the elephants, and the lions. green, like in Sagala, uh, whereby you you can get to see the the mountains people hmm. living under the uh, the mountain on top of the mountains it's wow. really nice wow. but it's tiresome but it's nice you mm. climb all that hey eh? yeah know, it's healthy so let's talk kenya kenya on a scale of one to ten yeah what do you give kenya on a scale of one to ten is it bad is it good is it kenya in the middle is good yeah. seven. scale of one to ten seven. you give it a seven yeah okay do you want to well, tell us uh give us two reasons why you can't give it a, a nine or a ten because like in kenya we mm. have uh, this uh, uh, problem of whereby we still have so uh, the the population mm. i think uh, the percentage of the poor and the rich people mm. there is a very big gap oh sure and since corona you you see that uh, the the rich people uh, they the rich people continue to be rich and the poor they really the the, the poor like the percentage of the of the humble people yeah yeah there is a picky so it's yeah picky picky a boda boda motor distracting me sorry <laughs> so so i'm saying like uh, i can't give it seven because of the the what living standard yeah sure it's uh that we have uh, a very big gap like it could be more nice if uh, the the rich and the poor there is not that uh, big gap but that comes from whereby there is uh, there is a uh, lack of business or uh, job opportunity sure sure yeah. And since Corona, things uh, so many people lose their job. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With this Corona, like, it's like, like a new Kenya. Uh, huh? mm, it's almost like, like a new Kenya, yeah. Yeah, like tourism went really down. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. But now it's good since I can afford to go to Watamu and enjoy a boat ride all alone in the boat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> because back then it was really expensive. Oh, they, but they, now they've we lowered are prices enjoying. more. Yeah, sure. But, you know, but um, since Corona, like uh, I say um, in Kilifi, yeah. in the hotels, you'll find most of them are people from around Kilifi mm. and maybe some other nearby towns. Sure. 
but back then you could find in the big hotel that on the tourists uh, and not the local people so, uh, so 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 Kenya has a little bit of work to do yeah a but lot, it's not bad a lot. it's not bad it's not bad that's why yeah. I gave it seven yeah yeah, yeah. we can so give it a seven for we the have day. to work out on the three percent and we'll be fine I know that is not easy but with time Pole pole, slowly, pole, slowly. Pole, pole, pole. Yeah. So any any parting words to everybody about this Kenya, about yourself? What do you want them to know? You can follow me on TikTok okay. at and um Top Shell Five. So what? <laughs> no, like the rest you don't have to follow me. It's what's up. But on Instagram I'm Friadel. Mm. Friadel, F R I E D E L. Yeah. Yeah. And on Facebook, say they're Mito. Yeah, Mito. Miss Mito. Mito. Sawa, sawa. Uh, so yeah. it was a pleasure talking to you. It was really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed Miss uh, Mito Yawa. Yeah? And I hope you enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful view. Look at it. Hey? Yes. So until next time, peace and love, Kenya. <laughs> <laughs>